All right, let's make this character. Uh, Erudite. Magician. And then we are going to go with uh, all sorts of stuff into intelligence. And then we're going to throw five into agility like that. Uh, let, let's get our name. We're going to do Larry. This could. This is going to be my main here. And we're going to go with the face. Where's my... Where's... Where are we going to go with? We're going to go... Oh, yeah. The, there you go. The old Larry face right there. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Agnostic. Boom. And boom. And boom. There was a lot of thought and indecisiveness that went into finally choosing Mage as my first hardcore attempt. I decided on Mage for the following reasons. For maximum flexibility with my playtime, I needed something that could be solo friendly, and mages definitely checked that box. I also wanted something that I was a little more comfortable with, and being as I played a mage on Project 1999, I felt that starting on Project Quorum with the class would be the right play. Mages also have a very low dependence on gear, further building upon its solo friendliness. And one huge quality of life perk for pet classes on Project Quorum is that they will summon a max level pet every time. Of course, there are plenty of cons for rolling a mage as well. Naturally, as a caster class, majors have inherently low defense. Also, since it's a pet class, a good majority of its survivability depends on the well-being of that pet. One of the biggest drawbacks is the lack of survival abilities. This includes lack of crowd control and lack of spells that can get you out of a bad situation quickly and reliably. The closest thing that mage has for crowd control is going to be to rely on the earth pet to land a root, but as you can imagine in hardcore mode, you'll need more assurance than inconsistent chance. Finally, outside of the caster standard gate, mages have no mobility spells or abilities. No ports, no fast feet, nothing. Ultimately, the pros outweighed the cons for me and we pushed forward with the mage. We're in. And we're not alone. Uh, we're gonna give this on over to that guy. Got our robe ready to go. All right, so we're going to do hardcore and uh, self-found. Okay, let's talk about one of the very unique systems on Project Quorum, and that's the self-imposed rule sets. There are three rule sets that you can flag for, and you must be level one to do that. Once you do, your character is completely reset back to its fresh character state. Additionally, when flagging at the Priest of Discord, make sure that you input all of the flags that you want enabled in one line of text. For example, if you want to flag for self-found and hardcore, you would type self-found hardcore one line of text to the Priest of Discord. Going into more detail for the rule sets themselves, for hardcore starting at level one, if your character dies, it will automatically reset to the fresh level one character state. With this flag alone, you are able to group with both hardcore and non-hardcore characters, and there are no trading or eluding restrictions. The solo flag is pretty self-explanatory. With it enabled, you will not be able to group with other characters, nor will you be able to trade with them. Self-found forces the player to earn 100% of their loot at all times. If you don't get experience for it, you won't get the loot. This flag also restricts who you can and cannot group with, limiting it only to other players who have flagged for self-found. Keep in mind, this lowers the groupable player pool significantly. So for those looking for the most difficult version of EverQuest, flagging for both Hardcore and Self-Found will deliver that to the fullest extent. Oh, so it did put me out here. I see. This is exactly what someone was just saying a second ago. Uh, why is it so dark? Open this door. And there we go. Taking a little bit of a shortcut, but this, this, the danger is not over yet. We're right here in the, in the Kino's Catacombs. There's usually a piranha or two. That piranha could cause some issues. We're going to jump over here just like this. Oh gosh, I'm going to die. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. It'll be a good time. <laughs> Speaking of good times. Ah! Really need a... Um... Oh, God. This thing's really hurting. Come on. Really? A... Really? Uh, Real... uh, really? Uh, Already dead? From a snake? An even con snake just get melted like that? Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, there goes death number one. Died to a, uh, a little green garden snake in the sewers. Fantastic.
Pro tip, you can strafe against the walls in water. Oh. Mm. Uh, died again. Okay, I think we're gonna take the boat, y'all. I think we're gonna take the boat. It's, oh, it's just not looking good for me. All right, we're taking the boat. Did I forget to train again though? That's all right, I can train it. Oh, boat, 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 boat. Boat. Look at that for timing. Wow, talk about luck of the streamer. Anyone missing the boat? Oh no, someone had a, someone tried to jump. Jar Bar Marfazar tried to jump, didn't make it. Brandina, just a couple seconds too late. Let me get my butt on this boat before I mess it. There we go. All right, we're in Kinos. Okay, okay, I can't mess this up. There we go. There's the crew. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How many people are in this zone? Oh, it's 126. <laughs> oh my goodness. Would you look at this? Look at Kinos. It is bustling. 126 players out here running around. Oh, it's beautiful. What a beautiful sight. Okay, we're, we got, we... First mob down, y'all. First mob down. Oh, man. Can't believe it.